don't wanna tell you to drop me But I don't wanna play your fan to my channel or welcome if you are new my name is Rashida and I am a stay-at-home work-from-home mom of four beautiful children we have Giselle, Malachi, and Seer and Naomi and here on this channel we like to provide you with all types of motivation we have cleaning motivation laundry motivation mommy motivation just realistic motivation to help you get you through your day week month and year so if that is something that you're interested in please consider joining our family all you have to do is hit that subscribe button and make sure your notifications are on so you will not miss an upload okay so today i'm basically going to be doing a sunday reset um i have basically switched my Sunday resets and do all the same things that I did on Sunday. I now do it on Fridays and I made this big decision or this big switch because I just found it to be more efficient for my lifestyle. So my kids are in school on Friday. So which means I can get a lot more done without them being here. That way we can just chill for the rest of the weekend. And I now I like to use my Sundays as like rest, recharge yeah so on sundays i like to just rest recharge spend time with family do uh, my planning just to set the tone for the rest of the week so instead of trying to accomplish everything on a sunday i do majority of it on uh, friday and then on sundays i just do a quick tidy and it just it just works out better for um, my lifestyle. But this past Friday was just a little bit busy. I did get some stuff done, but we're going to be doing majority of it today on Sunday because it has to be done for the week. But right now I am about to get ready for the day so we can go ahead and get started because I really do have a lot to do. Okay, so I need to start with stripping my bed because... Um, I had just washed my sheets like a couple of weeks, well not a couple of weeks, a couple of days ago. So I wasn't going to do that this Sunday, but Nay had a nosebleed yesterday, well last night, and it's like everywhere. So I need to strip the sheets and let me see if it got down to the mattress because then I'm going to have to, you know, clean the mattress. So I'm gonna have to add that to my to-do list, but I'm gonna see how the mattress is looking. It might just be a spot clean, but it's like all over like the sheets and my duvet cover. I'm hoping it can come out. I should have sprayed it last night, but I was just so tired. And honestly, it kept happening. That's why I got a towel down. So um, I didn't get a chance to spray it. So I'm hoping that um, me spraying it today is not gonna it's still going to come out with me um, spraying it today. So while I'm doing that, stripping my bed, I'm going to go ahead and strip everybody else's bed because this is not a full load. So I'm, I'm just going to make it a full load and wash everybody's sheets because I was going to do everybody else's sheets today anyway. Um, so it just works out. But I have to remember to spray these two. Okay, so the mattress is not bad. Ooh. The mattress isn't bad, so we're not gonna have to like, I mean, it's a little little stain on there, but I think it's, it's fine. And they can wait until the next time I deep clean all the mattresses. So, got this. Then we're gonna head to, um, Let's go to the boys' room and strip their sheets first, and then I'll have um, Giselle strip her sheets.
right, so the boys had um, basically already cleaned their room a little bit. It's not much for them to clean, but now that I'm making up their beds, that's all I'm going to do here. Um, I probably should go ahead and vacuum too. So I'm going to make up their beds and I'm going to vacuum. But as far as like wiping stuff down, that is now their responsibility. So I'll give them a Lysol wipe and um, they'll go in and wipe their doorknobs, the light switches, any hard surfaces. So I let them do that um, on a Sunday as part of their cleaning routine. Of course, every so often I'll go back and do like a deep clean because you know my kids clean. So that's all I'm gonna be doing in here is making up their beds in which they do that too. But you know what? <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta pick your battles. They down there playing the Nintendo Switch right now. So I'm gonna let them have their fun since they do go back to school tomorrow. And a little bit later, when I make them take a device break, I'll have them do their cleaning routine. And I'll show you how they do. They actually have fun with it. So that's a plus because they're at an age where some cleaning is fun for them when they want to do it. So taking advantage of it as I can because I know one day they're going to not want to clean at all. So, take my wins as they come. <laughs> typically more relaxed and I have more time and it's not just focused on deep cleaning the house and I think that has definitely saved me a lot of peace of mind and so on Sundays I can just do a quick reset and I can just focus on spending quality time with um, you know my family or um, implement in self-care more self-care into the day but I definitely prefer to leave Sundays a little slower. Like in the past, like last year, not even that long ago, what I would do is 
I would try to get everything done on Sundays. I would do all the cleaning, all the laundry, all the cooking, all the planning, all the organizing. I just felt like Sunday was that day. And honestly, that's not very realistic. I'm just gonna say for me. And it would just leave me stressed and I wouldn't feel refreshed for the new week. So the way I'm doing it now, I just feel like it's better. Cause like I said, it's much more slower and I can actually like plan um, and actually re relax and recharge for the upcoming week. So I'm just gonna finish tidying up this floor. We did the boys room already, that's done. I'm just go ahead and reset my room, then I'll go reset the girls room and then we'll move on to the next task. I do have quite a few things on my list to do today um that normally i wouldn't have it would have got taken care of but it's really not not a lot so i know like my comforter is in the in the wash but i still need to like reset my bed all right so i'm gonna pick up my room real quick and then we'll move on <laughs> This is pretty much the only thing left I have. Because like I said, Fridays is my main day. I'm going to let done on Friday. So this is what I have left when it comes to laundry. I mean, it is some pieces inside their dirty clothes, but not a lot. Um, I can just 
add those in to like my weekly one load a day uh, routine. But I'm just gonna get these together because I need to lay out their clothes for the week. So I wanna make sure that I have all the clothes put up so I can know what we have and what we're gonna be choosing from. So I'm out to cut on a movie because I love just, I have to watch TV or something, a podcast, a video, uh, when, I put, when I'm folding laundry because it just makes the time go by so much quicker for me. So I chose the old guard. It came out in 2020 and I've been seeing it like on Netflix for a while, but I just have never watched it. So I just wanted to pick something random, not something that I was going to be all interested in to where I couldn't stop the movie. I need something that once I'm finished watching, I can go ahead and cut it off and resume like at a later time. So that's why I chose this. It is a couple movies on there that I want to watch, but I know that I'm going to wait until like when I'm relaxing to watch those movies. So I'm going to go ahead and push play. And then I'll come back on when um, we're going to leave the, everybody's clothes out for the week. shirts first and then just throw some jeans with it um, it's really not a science behind it but with the shirts I pick the shirts first because I try to get like different variations of different colors so it's pretty much like and then it's like I don't have to look at the weather either because it's just gonna be cold all week so long sleeves it's not like it's the spring or the fall where I have to see what the weather is on whether or not they can wear um shorts or something like that so i'm gonna start from the back so i'll do a dark blue uh, i'll do a red I'll do a green. Get it on. I clean the table. Okay. I'll do a blue, light, like this color blue. Yeah. What do you mean, Michael? Yeah. And then a gray. Yeah. Where did I put those? So I got the boys laid out, and then I'm putting it in this cubicle. Um. So the way it goes is. Adele, Monica, and Kia. And since it's wintertime, if their clothes don't fit, then it transfers over so they can get two um, bags with each. And then uh, this is made. And then we have two extra ones because maids don't normally take up 
two cubicles. So I'm just gonna fold it and put it in there and no, no order. I don't try to match the kids or anything like that. So here is everything their clothes is all picked out for the week like i said with the older kids they have to fit in two because like their clothes are bigger and thicker and some of them have like a hoodie plus a t-shirt to go on um because it's so cold here so that's nasir's malachi Giselle's, and then uh, nays and this just makes it super easy um in the morning it makes things run a little bit smoother because i don't have to be fumbling through the closet trying to find four outfits every day it's already laid out and it helps with their independence because if they get up before i do and they're able to just come grab an outfit and get dressed for the day without me having to tell them so it's a win-win situation so if you don't have some kind of system in place for like your younger kids definitely look into it okay so now i need to clean the bathroom but before i clean the bathroom i gotta cut the boys hair <laughs> It's always a process for something. So I gotta cut their hair because there's no point in me cleaning the bathroom if I'm about to just be making a mess again. And then um, they need to take a shower because after the haircut, they gonna have hair all over them and they don't like that. So cut the hair, give them their shower for the day, and then I'll come back and clean the bathroom. Like the bathroom is not really a mess. Like the countertops got some tissue ready to like clean the mirror and maybe wipe down the toilet again. But you guys gotta remember that I did everything on Friday. I did a, a deep cleaning on Friday. So and normally I do like like set like family self-care or hair days and anything else like maintenance wise or self-care wise. I typically do for them on Saturdays, but we had a busy day yesterday, so I didn't get a time a chance. Um, to do that so now I'm just going and it, it doesn't matter because I'm just cutting their sides like I'm not be twisting their hair so it's literally just gonna take me 10 seconds put the rug up so it won't be a mess Why do the sides again? Do you do the sears? Not yet. Yeah. Is your can you cut my iPad off? My iPad is only at seven. <laughs> no, this is how I cut my hair. I can, I can. Oh, is he still doing it? Um, is I'm he? I'm still, I'm still. Hmm. Hey, Bob, I have to do it after. What is it? She 
Well, you can't do that. Let me see her. That's the deal. You better get in the shower, sir. You still got hair everywhere. Do that, 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 You ready to start? Yeah. 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 We've done nothing. No, I gotta do Giselle first, and then the I do. The world isn't getting any better; it's okay. getting worse. What if I'm calling? Is this scary? And then what? And then nothing.
pousse yon bad gal Yon real from black gal Tourne yon bad man tellement son hot gal Yon bad is so pas on le ou move on slow motion Betty that way so this is what I'm using on everybody's hair. So I saturated with this leave-in conditioner, black vanilla for moisture and shine system. So it's a hydrating leave-in. Um, it smells really good, really good. It's kind of expensive, but it smells really good. And I say it's expensive because I have four kids that I use this on. I probably pick this up maybe twice, twice a month. I have to like re-up on this. That's yeah and then this was very affordable and it's lasting a very long time it's the tea tree tea tree scalp care so it's just an oil a tea tree oil that i put on their hair um of course you can make whatever concoction you want but i just find that this keeps their hair moisturized and i do it in that order I have to saturate it first and then put the oil in there and then um they're good for the following week and i might just spray this on there if I see it looking a little bit dry throughout the week, but definitely get oiled at least once a week. for the week like i know a lot of people they just do their dinners but i promise you promise you promise you if you do everything else it'll make things run a little bit smoother and you're gonna be using your brain or using your brain power for more important decisions so if you could just take the time out on sunday to plan all of your meals um tr trust me it's a game changer um so i have this little notepad here um i don't know where it's from uh, where's pen and gear from? I think that's Target. I'm not sure, but I have a whole bunch of like different uh, things like this. So the first thing I always start off with is planning my dinners because my dinners kind of like dictate what we're doing for lunch. And so I always start off with dinners. And where I get my ideas from is 
one from things that have worked with my kids in the past and I'll go on TikTok and look for new recipes and I'll also go on Pinterest to look for new recipes. So on Mondays um, for dinner, this is dinner. So this one has breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. And I'll go through all of them with you. But um, on Mondays for dinner, we'll have leftovers because I do such a big Sunday dinner. So I'll do um, leftovers on Monday. Like tonight we have in uh, chili and it's enough chili to have for Mondays. Now, another productivity hack, if you will, is to make your Mondays as easy as possible. But we all know that Mondays can be a little bit hectic because it's the first day back and the first day of the work week. So I try to make Mondays as easy as um, as easy as possible. So on Mondays, we got that. <clears throat> on Tuesday, we're going to be having quesadilla burgers um, on... What else we have? So Wednesday, we're having stuffed chicken. And if you want, you can go ahead and plan the sides, the sides out too. But that's feel like the sides are not <clears throat> that complicated. It's always just a starch and a vegetable for us. Um, on Thursday, we have in uh, peppered steak. Okay, on Friday, I don't cook on Friday, so we usually just order some pizza. On Saturday, we're actually going to be going out to a going away party, so we're going to do a, I'm just going to put dinner party here. And then on next Sunday, I'm going to be making stuffed shells. So, there is my, my dinner for this upcoming week. Now based off of what I have for dinner is usually what I pack the kids for lunch nine times out of ten or I should say eight times out of ten um it just makes it easier so for example for Tuesday for dinner we're having quesadilla burgers so I'll make enough to where I can pack the kids a quesadilla burger for for lunch here for the stuffed chicken I don't see them really eating stuffed chicken for lunch so I'll just probably do a tuna wrap. Oh, let me go back. Like I'm kind of all over the place, but it makes sense in my head. On Monday, like I said, we're making it real easy. It's just going to be some kind of deli sub like ham and cheese or turkey and cheese. Or on Tuesday, it'd probably be um, like hot dogs. And then on Fridays, I don't pack lunch on Fridays. I don't cook on Fridays. Fridays is my off day. Well, not technically my off day, but I don't cook on Fridays. Um, and then they have lunch at school on Fridays. And they don't mind having lunch at school on Fridays because typically at their school, they'll have pizza or chicken nuggets or like a chicken patty sandwich something that they they really like so on fridays like every single friday they have like pizza or some kind of chicken nuggets so i let them um eat lunch at school on fridays and then for saturday and sunday i'm not putting anything because that can change we just play it by ear because it is the weekend then going up to you poopy okay so i had to change nice pamper so we're back. Where was I? I think we were gonna go to who am I breath? Um breakfast. And for Monday I do something simple. We have the pancakes. Tuesday French toast. I try to switch it up and not give them the same thing every single day because no one wants to eat the same thing every day. Um on Wednesday we have the little mini biscuits and they have like bacon and they have sausage. So, biscuits on Thursday, we're going to try egg bites. Um, I've seen this good recipe that was supposed to be kid-friendly, so I'm going to try that out for them because I'm trying to incorporate other stuff into the diet. So, I'm going to try that. On Friday, again, baby, I'm going to cook. So, we're going to have some cereal. On Saturday, still cereal because... I just don't. And then on Sunday, I do a brunch. And that includes like pancakes, French toast, bacon, sausages, potatoes, grits, oatmeal, fruit, 
all that good stuff. So that's what we do on uh, Sundays. Now, down to their snacks. They have to take a snack to school every day. Hey. 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 What are you talking about? Nothing. What you talking about? So they have to take uh something to school every day for like a mid morning snack, and they want it to be like on the healthier side, not like some chips, cookies, or something like that. So. On Monday, we're going to do muffins. That's why I always keep muffins in the house because this is an easy snack for them to, to take to school and to grab when they come home. On Tuesday, we're going to do like a yogurt uh, parfait with just some yogurt, granola, and fruit. Wednesday, we're going to pack a Lunchable and not like the big ones, but just the cheese crackers and meat. Those are snacks to my kids because they're, they eat like grown people. On Thursday, we're going to do a muffin again. And then on Friday, it's going to be kind of like a Lunchable again. But this one, it has like the little sausages and the cheese. Um, so basically an adult Lunchable, but I'm just going to say meat and cheese. And when I say meat and cheese, it's the little, like I said, the little mini uh, turkey link sausages and then the cheese cubes. They really like those, really like those. Um, and they come in a variety pack as well. Not a variety pack. Yeah, no. Well, it comes in multiples of threes. You can find them in the refrigerator section by the eggs. That's where I always find them at. So that is going to be our meal plan for the week. I know sometimes like this can be a little bit tedious because people just normally stop at dinner. But that's going to be the meal plan for the week. And then here is where you can write out what you don't have based off of all of this. So you can just write your shopping list on here. Um, it would have been great if, oh, I spoke too soon. Wait a minute. So with this, you can tear this off. It has, um, yeah. Okay, so yeah. No, you can't. I, it looks like it has... I think you I think you can. Okay, so if I can take this off and go shopping with it instead of this whole big thing or trying to figure out or remember by memory, I can just do my shopping list here. So that works. Okay, so that is it for today's video. Um, we had a very, very productive Sunday reset. Normally, I wouldn't have this much on my agenda because, like I said, on Fridays, I know y'all going to get tired of me saying that, but on Fridays, I do all of my deep cleaning and laundry. On Saturdays, I do, like, maintenance, like, beauty maintenance for myself and the kids. And then Sundays, I like to typically use that for rest, recharge, and planning. So, we kind of did all of that in today's reset, but... Nevertheless, it still was productive for the rest of the evening. I'm going to use it to rest and recharge. I'm actually about to finish the movie, The Old Guard, because it turned out better than expected. Like, I know I said I was going to cut it on to, like, basically be background noise while I was doing laundry. But I ended up cutting it back on when I was um, greasing the girl's hair. And it's like, it got really good. Like, it's a good movie. So I'm going to end up finishing finishing it now dinner is already done um i had made some chili so in probably maybe an hour or two we're gonna go down and have our dinner and then just get ready for bed yeah so that's pretty much it for today y'all i hope y'all had a productive sunday or a restful sunday whichever yeah that's that's pretty much it i'm about to just Chris play on this movie and just vibe out for the rest of the night. I'm probably going to go to bed early, honestly. <laughs> As always, I really appreciate you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next one.